Hi everyone, welcome to the first edition of the 12 Months to Marathon podcast with me, John Hill. Welcome along. Let's get into it, shall we? So, what I'm going to do on my very first episode is a little bit of an introduction to me. I have led, I call it two lives really, because up until the age of 28, I was quite unhealthy really. I lost quite a bit of weight actually in my early 20s. I went through a bit of a moment and lost a bit of weight then. But for most of my life, up until the age of 28 years old, I was unhealthy. I ate too much, I smoked, I drank too much, I parted a little too hard in my 20s and I took some other things which I will tell you about when you're a little older. And I started getting into fitness at the age of 28 properly. I'd I'd, I'd flirted with it a couple of times in my life, played football once a week as most lads like me did back where I grew up. Uh, Got into a little bit of fitness in my early 20s when I lost a bit of weight then. But actually, 28, I was in a bit of a mess. Uh, I was 18 stone, uh, smoking probably 15 cigarettes a day. Uh, I was eating poorly and I was drinking far too much. And through some circumstances that happened at the time, which I'll tell you about another day, I decided to change my life. And that got me on a journey to losing weight, getting into health and fitness, getting into nutrition, understanding that. And then eventually, after a few years of being a little bit of a gym bunny, staying fit and looking after myself, I stumbled into running because I was one of those people who was never a runner. You know, I'm not a runner. I like lifting weights and blah, blah, blah. I don't do cardio. I used to do runs on treadmills and things like that. I got into it when I, a, a client of mine, a personal training client of mine at the time, said he was going to do the Birmingham Half Marathon. And I said, oh, I'll do it with you. And when I got into the fitness industry, I never envisaged that I would be coaching people on running, to be fair, because my specialist area was always in weight loss coaching and helping people to lose weight and just get into better habits. Now, when I did the Birmingham Half Marathon back in 2011, uh, I sort of got into the mindset afterwards of, well, it's a nice measurable thing to do. Let's see if we can beat the time. So that started the journey of me trying to improve the times. Now, back in 2013, I was friends with a few fitness professionals and personal trainers at the time, and one of them was doing the London Marathon, and I thought, oh, that would be a cool thing to do. So at the time, I knew somebody who worked for Macmillan Cancer because they were coming to my group fitness program, and they got me a charity place. Now, what happened was, at the time, in 2013, my mom had cancer, and she unfortunately passed away in the February of 2014, about eight, nine weeks before the marathon was on, basically, when the marathon started. So... I managed to raise the money through tragic circumstances, unfortunately. Then I got into the marathon. And I did my first marathon back in 2014. Uh, It wasn't a great experience. It was really hot. (laughs) Um, I wasn't prepared at all. I was overconfident in thinking I could do it. Uh, My my prep was all over the shop. It was basically, I wasn't me now, basically. It was a bit of a mess. Got round, told my mom on a deathbed I'd do it in four hours. Did it in 3.59.21. That time will stay with me forever. And uh, got a bit of sunburn and off we went. And then in 2015, I decided to do five in 15. And I thought that had a nice ring to it. So I did five marathons in 2015. Again, totally underprepared. Was doing them within weeks of one another, which was a bit of a silly mistake. Uh, and there we go. And then for a couple of years, really, from that point, probably from 2016, 2017, 2016, 2017 particularly, I ran a little bit, but not as much. So I still did sort of the Birmingham Half Marathon. I still did the 10K, a few other bits and bobs, park run. I had a little crack at trying to get under 20 minutes at park run was a little thing I was focusing on. But I wasn't. I wouldn't class myself as really a serious runner for that time because I sort of fell off it. And then I got this thing in my head. Uh, in 2017 about trying to go for the sub three marathon because my marathon PB at the time was probably around 345 which I did in Florence in the November and I thought can I improve on this time what's it going to take me to get much better so I did Manchester the Manchester marathon in 2017 and I got it down to I think it was 325 at the time and I thought oh Maybe I could do a sub three based on that. Again, being fantastically overconfident (laughs) about the impending thing. So then I went on this sort of journey of then trying to 
you know, nail this sub three marathon, which was my next sort of project, which I did. I started attempting really in about 2018 uh, properly, which was in sort of Chester in um, 2018. 310 I think in Chester from a three I did 316 in Birmingham when the, the, the they did the ill-fated Birmingham marathon once which didn't really work because of location and stuff and then I did Chester in 2018 and got to 310 and then for for, for the next five years <laughs> uh obviously with the, our wonderful friend the pand- pandemic popping in in the middle of it all I tried to get under three now when in 2020 funnily enough when I went for the sub three in I I did, I did 303 in 2019, and then in 2020, I got into the best shape of probably my life. I was fairly light and fairly lean, and it was two weeks before the Manchester Marathon 2020, and then lockdown hit, and off we went. So I didn't do it. So then I went into this process of, I called it my white whale, uh, and then eventually, after a 302 and a couple of other bits, I managed to get the sub three in Manchester in 2023, 256.39, uh, and it just clicked at the time and it just flowed so it was an incredible journey and I often class the the sub three marathon as it, it, it wasn't the end but it felt like a bit of a culmination of a journey because it felt like somebody that had gone from being very unhealthy very unfit to achieving something that is quite important in the running community. I mean, it, you know, the the good club runner aspiration has got the sub three marathon. Now I know people who do sub threes for fun. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And ever since I've been speaking to a lot of people on Instagram, it's quite interesting how the odd person will pop up and go, "Oh, can you help me? I'm currently at two thirty nine. I'm like, no, can you help me? Um, so it was almost like a bit of a culmination for me of my journey. And I think what I when I talk about this stuff, it's like. You, you sometimes forget of how far you've come and how far you've come on your journey and how you just do things really and then I decided well actually and then I, I can use this I suppose I can use this to help others because I'm very very passionate about running just because I like the the challenge of it I like the fact it's easily measurable I, I love the fact that you can either go faster or further I love the fact of the accomplishment that it gives people i've always worked with people and helped them get into fitness journeys and lose weight and become consistent with everything that they do but with running particularly because it makes a lot of people uncomfortable and you're quite exposed i often use that expression you're exposed particularly if you're running outdoors for the first time i think getting to a place where you achieve something incredible and i've seen this happen with people who've done their first halves their first marathons their pbs over any distance it's quite an incredible journey so i decided that i wanted to help people to really achieve their potential whatever that potential might be and show them through simple tweaks really how they can achieve what they want and I wanted to do that for people over the age of 35 and the reason why is because I was 36 when I did my first marathon I was 45 when I did my sub three and I've done all of my, I've done some all of my major PBs in my forties as well as having both my children in my forties as well. So I'm a late bloomer, some might say, but actually I feel great. I, you know, I've just I just finished a half marathon as I record this a few days ago, and I finished twenty second out of eleven hundred and thirty. And it's a bit like when did this happen? You know, and I, I don't say that to impress people because. For, I know people that are absolute monsters and will, you know, they can run for fun. I think for me, it's just saying that you can achieve your potential and it's not too late. And, you know, if you'd have seen the state of me at 28 and the way I felt about myself and the way I behaved, if I'm honest, to, to change it to where I am now, I think it's important to know that you can do it and it's, it is possible and it's not easy. And I always thought that I'd be scuppered if I had children, which I have now and, you know, the life change and stuff. But actually, you've just got to be a lot more disciplined and a lot more focused on what you want. And it is possible. So now I'm working with some fantastic people, helping them to get better, helping them to understand the simplicity of it all. And I think that's my vision and my dream is to make things simple. Straight talking, honest, cut through all the information. Let's get people onto maximum execution versus maximum information. I come into coaching in 2009 and it's not like it is now you know there wasn't as much information back then whereas now there's information everywhere and I think with running and in running terms the problem that we all have is that 
you get better at running by running. You don't get better at running by reading. And you don't get better at running by asking questions. You get better at running by running and getting the minimum viable information that you need to get out and do the work. And that's hopefully where I'm coming from with this. And that's my vision, really, to help people achieve their potential. And more importantly, create a community of people that are going to succeed and are going to bounce off each other and are going to support each other. Because in the fitness industry, if I'm honest, I've been in the fitness industry for a long time. I've been heavily involved in it. I've got a lot of involvement in the fitness industry. And unfortunately, not all the time, but in some cases, it can be quite an unpleasant place because of you know people's attitude towards fitness and the way they use it as a status symbol. And it shouldn't be that. It should give you life and give you zest for life. Fitness and exercise saved my life because I don't know where I would have been now if I hadn't have made my decisions I made at the age of 28. So I I want other people to realise that it is important and how much it matters, particularly as you get older, because, you know, my mom that I mentioned previously was 17 years older than I am now when she died. And that's not that's not long so you haven't got long so i want to help people to maximize the time they've got and achieve their potential uh, whether that be someone going from zero to 5k or whether that be someone pb in a marathon because i promise you if, if you're a runner and you've got a marathon on your bucket list there's no feeling like it the medal the t-shirt the camaraderie the race day the whole shoot match is brilliant so that's a little introduction to me and a little bit of introduction to what I do. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, there's going to be some more stuff coming out. I'll drop in some uh, some podcasts regularly on here where I'll give you my musings and stuff that's going on. If you want to get in touch with me, feel free. 12 Months to Marathon on Instagram. Uh, pop over there and give me a follow All the, and you'll see some all awesome sorry excuse me daily content which you can hopefully use in your running journey and you can contact me there as well if you do want to have a chat about helping you to fulfill your potential so thanks for listening keep running and i'll see you all very soon